Suppose we drop a football in flowing water and after dropping into water, the shape and size of the football does not change. Then we say divergence is zero. But in water, if after dropping, the football may either shrink or expand, then divergence is not zero. So divergence talks about how much vector field is spreading or converging at a point. So divergence of vector measures the rate of flow of field lines are converging or diverging at a point in space. Divergence of vector is divided into two parts. First one, positive divergence. Second one, negative divergence. In positive divergence, more vector field spreads out compared to field flowing inside the space. And in negative divergence, more vector field comes into the space compared to field flowing outside the space. Divergence of vector is obtained by using differential operator. The value of the differential operator is given by i do upon do x plus j do upon do y plus k do upon do z. This value is called as the differential operator. Suppose we want to find out the divergence of vector f. The vector f is given by f1i plus f2j plus f3k and to find divergence of vector we find out dot product of differential operator and vector f differential operator denoted by nebula so divergence of vector f is equals to nebula dot vector f so this is equals to do f1 upon do x plus do f2 upon do y plus do f3 upon do z. This value is a scalar. Therefore, divergence of vector gives a scalar result. For solid examples on divergence, please visit my playlist.